President Akufado has directed a trade ministry to evacuate Ghanaian traders locked up at the benin Seme border back home. Government efforts are getting the Nigerian authorities to reverse the closure of their land borders to neighboring countries has yielded no results. Government says it is determined to bring the traders back into the country in the next two days. Deputy Trade Minister Carlos Ahenkra disclosed this exclusively to TV3. What is the latest with respect to the closure of the Nigerian border? Well, um, unfortunately, we've seen that um, our um, big brothers in Nigeria are either not trying to play ball or they are taking us for a ride. But uh, yes, of course, it's, it's their right. I mean, it's a sovereign country. They can decide to take any action in regards to what they think will safeguard their borders and so on and so forth. So what the president has instructed, which I am leading that course, is to go back to the border and bring every Ghanaian registered truck back home. He doesn't want the drivers and the drivers mates sitting at the borders and living in an unkempt um, environment uh, and unhygienic uh, space. So I have been to Benin, I have spoken to the foreign minister, uh, I have um, been to the border, spoken to the drivers and the mates, and we are arrangements are allowed to bring them back home. So very soon we're going to see the return of uh, these drivers who intended to cross the border and were not allowed seven months what ago. What time are you looking at to bring them back? Give us another one, two weeks they should come back. Well, let's get more on this particular development. And I have Nana Poku. Uh, he is the General Secretary of the Greater Accra Regional Branch of Guta on the line. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Poku. Thanks so much for joining us. Good afternoon, madam. And good well, afternoon to your listeners. Well, so what will be your response to, to this particular issue? Um, we, the traders in the country, are... Uh, of a little bit joy that um, when we tell government that the Nigerian counterparts are not ready to back down when they decide doing anything in terms of trade because they believe in prote uh, protectionism. They need to protect their citizens. They need to protect the indigenous. Um, from this um, um, petty trading across borders and so forth and so on. Now, it's a clear indication that the Nigerians are not ready to work with the ECOWAS treaties that they have. Okay. And based on what Mr. Carlos Ahinkra delivered, it is true that Cabinet has actually uh, um, consented to bring the drivers home. And okay. these, are, these drivers are contracted uh, vehicles that are carrying goods which were bought from Ghanaian market to Golese market um, heading towards um, Nigeria. Nigeria. And then um, we have two sets of um, 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 vehicles. One have been given an approval by the Nigerians to enter. And that is the... Um, that is the ETLS, um, an ECOWAS trade liberalization scheme. Okay. Those people have been given the green light to enter Nigeria. And then the private um, businessmen and women who are from Nigeria and have come to Ghana, Togo, Benin to purchase are the ones who are facing the most um, difficulty now. Well, so, uh, uh, Mr. Poku... Mr. Government Poco, if you can get me, hello. Mr. To Poco. compensate the drivers because they have been paid. After carrying all these goods to the border and waiting for this long, they've not been paid. So government has agreed to pay a little bit compensation oh. to let the drivers home. Well, so um, this has spanned for a period of uh, six to some seven months. Uh, what would you say has been the impact uh, on Ghanaian traders? No, for us, we are capable. Ghanaian traders are very capable. We, 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 uh, our source of goods coming into the country, so very little is coming from Nigeria. Okay. Very little. The rest is coming from Turkey, India, the rest of the European world, 
and almighty China, which is on the verge of collapse. And um, Ghanaians are very, very, very capable when it comes to doing business. Very, very, very capable. But they, they, these goods that come from Nigeria are the Nigerians themselves who find our market very attractive okay. and also bring goods from Nigeria to Ghana. Okay. Well, um, thanks so much, uh, Nanapoku, for your thoughts on this particular conversation. Nanapoku uh, is the General Secretary of the Greater Accra Regional Branch of uh, Guta. Well, we are also trying to get other people, experts on uh, this particular issue. So we have um, Godwin Senor Ameko uh, joining yes. us from Kumasi Vifone. He is the CEO of Star Paint Industry. Good afternoon, Mr. Ameko. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Well, so how has the closure of the Nigerian border, you know, uh, to uh, traders affected uh, your group or you personally? In fact, the effect is so enormous. And I don't know how to even quantify that in a monetary terms. We want you to quantify that for us. It's been uh, some six to seven months now. Yes. Uh, normally, you know, I am into production of cement paint. Cement paint is basically cement-based paint, and it's a new innovative product. And and the demand for this product uh, it has has been increased due to TV3 uh, uh, startup fair that they organized for us. So the demand has been going on. So I even went out to solicit for a fund. So because of the nature of the product, we have to rely on. Nigeria, because the chemicals that we use for the production are not in the country, so we have to buy from Nigeria. So immediately we bought the chemicals. That was the exact time that the border was closed down. So the chemicals that we bought, we cannot bring them in into the country. You understand? So even as I speak today, we are out of business. So you haven't gone into production since then? Since then, yes. We haven't, we haven't done anything, and it's, it's, it's really affecting us negatively, you know? But government is expected to evacuate stranded Ghanaian traders. Uh, this must be good news for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's good for others. Uh, but for me in particular, uh, it's not. In a sense that um, product, when we evacuate the Ghanaians from Nigeria now, uh, how is that going to affect me? What I need now is that the border should be open so that they can be easy access to Nigeria so that we can get chemicals from them, yeah, that's so that we can do our production. That's what, but me in particular, that's what will solve my problem. They can, when you evacuate them, it will help some other people. But me as a business person whose business, who chemical is locked up in Nigeria, evacuating Ghanaians there will not solve that problem for me. Well, thanks so much for your thoughts on this particular uh, conversation. There was Ameko, Godwin Ameko joining us uh, from Kumasi.